get you out of your cold. Listen all day and all night. Eat the steak and then get a pen. Oh, no. So we were in Memphis. We had to go back to Hollywood to make a movie. And Elvis didn't want to leave Graceland. And I'll never forget, I'm doing Elvis's hair. And it was about nine o'clock at night because we only drove at night. Elvis drove his Dodge Mobile home. Okay. And Joe Esposito came, I said, Elvis, we got to get back, man. We're, we're late. Come on, they're waiting for you in Hollywood. We can't do this. We're going to have to drive straight through. Don't worry, Joe. Don't worry. We're going to go. We're going to go. So about an hour later, finally, we got into the, the bus, the caravan of cat, cars, and we started driving, got on the road, drove all night. The next night, we were in the panhandle of Texas, uh, Amarillo, and we Elvis drove into a motel. And Joe Esposito said, Elvis, what are you doing? We can't stop, only for gas. We got to get back. I was like, no, 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 we're good, we're good. All I need is an hour. I just got to freshen up. I need to take a shower. Just get a room for all you guys and get me the room next door. Okay. So we all went into our room. Elvis goes into his room. The phone rings. Esposito picks up the phone, he said, okay, okay, but don't be long, Elvis, we gotta go. He said, come on, Larry, he wants you. He's gotta talk to you. Don't get into a conversation with him. We gotta, I don't oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I walk into Elvis's room. <clears throat> he said, Larry, I read every book you give me, man. I love it. This is my life. This is what I'm all about. I'm all about God. And this is what we're all supposed to be doing. We're all supposed to be growing as human beings. But I have to ask you something. And I need you to tell me the truth. All these books I read from all these different religions and different masters and rabbis, and they all experience God. They're all having these exalted experiences. I don't get this experience. Why? What is it? What is it? I said, well, Elvis, look, man, what you're reading in these books are wonderful, wonderful truths. But all of us have got to surrender to God. We've got to let go of ourselves. We've got to forget ourselves. We've got to put our egos aside. We've got to talk to God and say, God, I am nothing. Uh, Without you, you're everything. Show me the truth. Show me the way. That's the only thing I can tell you, Elvis. Talk to God. Yeah. Tell him how you feel. Yeah. You're okay, man. I hear you. I hear you. Let's head it. Do my hair. We'll get on the road. So I did his hair. Get on the road. We're traveling all day, all night. and We haven't slept in several days now. Now we're in the Arizona desert. And for about an hour or two, Elvis was very quiet. And he's, we're all looking at the star, the, the clouds in the, in the sky. I'm sitting shotgun, which I always did on these trips. All of a sudden, Elvis said to me, look, look, do you see what I see? And I look, I said, oh, wow, yeah. And he said, what the hell is the face of Joseph Stalin doing in the clouds? And I started looking at the cloud and all of a sudden it started to diffuse into a little fluffy cloud again. So I wasn't, I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. I looked at Elvis and he went, oh, like that. He pulls the bus over. Now in our bus, because we have a caravan of cars behind us, with the equipment and this, the wardrobe, blah, blah, blah. In our cab was Red West, Jerry Schilling, and Billy Smith. Okay. And I'm sitting in, but they're behind us. Elvis said, Lawrence, come with me. 
And we ran to the desert. And he turns around, he looks at me. Tears are flowing down his cheeks. And he grabs me. I love you, Larry. I love you, man. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. It finally happened. I don't believe in God anymore. I don't have to. Now I know. Larry, you saw that. You saw that face. I said, yeah, I saw it. He said, why Stalin? He was the most evil. He started to swear a little bit. Um, That ever lived. He was worse than Hitler. He killed millions and millions and millions of people. I thought, and I was talking to God. I was saying, God, what is the truth? What is the truth? Show me, just show me. I'll do whatever you tell me to do. And all of a sudden, a lightning bolt came out of that cloud and struck my heart and went into every fiber, every part of my being. I was filled with God and God's love. God is love, Larry. Now I know. God is love. He's in you. He's in me. He's in everyone. He's in the, he's in the mountains. He's in the dirt. He's in frogs. He's in... God is everything. Now I know, Larry. It happened. It happened. It happened. Cars are whizzing by. And Elvis said, can you imagine what the fans would think of me if they saw me now? I said, yeah. They love you even more. Right, right. right. Amen. Amen to that.